Hello YouTube, welcome back to the Bison Workshop, I'm Bob, and today we're going to go ahead and get started on that uh, dump trailer again. Um, right now, I'm working on getting the um, self-centering, well, self-centering things on it so that when the bed comes down on it, it goes down on it and slides into the center position so that it stays straight and um, we started I made these things for the side rails but then I realized that I made them three quarters of an inch too short <laughs> so now I've got six of them that I guess I'll get used somewhere else but um, Actually, those would work if I had metal flooring to put on it, but I don't have metal flooring. Uh, I've got a piece of side piece out of a refrigerator, but it ain't it ain't wide enough to do the bed. So uh, I'm going to have to use wood. So I'm going to use three quarter inch boards, uh, well one by boards, and. Uh, We'll, uh, we'll go out here to the shop or out here to the uh, trailer and we'll get started. Alright, so what I found, and yes we went back to the treadmill for a solution to this problem and it just so happens that these here are going to work just fine. These are the brackets that mount to the bottom of every platform on a treadmill. And what this does is keeps the belt from going side to side. And there's two of them on each one of them. Well, it just so happens that that's going to fit right there. And this hole right here is going to line up with that hole right there. So we're going to utilize that hole and we're going to make it bigger and then we're going to drill another hole over here on that to match that one and then we'll bolt these in. Once I've got these mounted then I'll decide where I'm going to cut it. Uh, we already know that I'm going to cut this but I'm going to wait until I've got it mounted before I do any cutting. So we're going to clamp this right where the hole is And the way I'm going to figure out how to where to cut that off is I'm going to take me a square and I'm going to lay that right on top of there just like so and I'm going to mark that. Right there. But we want to go a little bit shorter than that. So we're going to go about a quarter of an inch and I'm just going to eyeball it. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and uh, mark it for cut. I'm pretty sure that's where it's going to go. So we're going to mark that right there where it's going to get cut. And both of those should be exactly the same. So, let's go ahead and take these in and cut them. Now, did you guys notice this thing hopping up and down in a certain place? 
I call that the hop of death. Uh, the reason I call that the hop of death is because that blade is getting ready to die on me. And I've prepared for it. Uh, I'm ready for it. Uh, I went ahead and ordered me a new one. But usually when it starts hopping like that, it's getting ready to break. Alright, so now we got to cut that part. pieces and we're just gonna file that edge off all right so now we get to drill these holes now we got to find out what screws we're going to use all right guys what we did was Drill the holes, and those will go in there just like that. I found four matching screws, and the beauty part about it is that these holes were already pre-drilled for me. So we're basically just utilizing the same holes that was used before. So now when it goes down, it has no choice but to center itself. You know how the old pickup trucks used to be, the old 66 Ford, uh, around that age. Uh, I had an old 66 Ford pickup with a step side bed on it, and it had wooden floors in it with aluminum slats in between each one of them. That's the look I would like to go for, go uh, with from this trailer. And it wouldn't take very many boards, and I, I believe that's probably the route that I'm going to go. Uh, I really don't want to use plywood. Um, I want to use boards so that, that way, if I can, if I need to replace a board somewhere down the road, I can just pull one board up, replace it, and be done with it. Of course, if I'm replacing one, I'm probably going to be replacing them all because that's a lot of work taking them off. But I want to put aluminum slats or some kind of slats in between them to make it look like the old, the old beds. And then the side, the sides will be put on in those brackets that I showed you in the beginning of the video that I cut uh, too short. Uh, so what my plan is. We're going to take the boards and put them on it, the entire top. It's probably going to take four boards, maybe five, uh, depending on which, how wide I get. I probably don't want to go past any more than six inch boards. I think i got a frog that's getting ready to start chirping on me. I've been on a frog killing spree. <laughs> then once we've got the platform down, then we'll make our brackets that weld to the side. And we're going to make them weld on. Uh, I can make them bolt on, but I don't, I don't think I want them to bolt on. I think I want them to just weld on. Uh, and then I'll weld two on each corner in the front and one on the back so let me go get one of those and I'll show you what I'm talking about what I wanted to do is put these on there just like that I'll have one there and I'll have one here and 
the reason I'm putting one here, like putting them on there like that and not as wide as this is because I want to hide this here and keep stuff from going up in it like wasp and shit like that. Um, I had that problem with my trailer, my other trailer. I had to take the tongue off of it and blow uh, great stuff in it to kill all the wasps that was in there and trap them and they can't get out and none can get back in. But anyway, I want to put one here, one here, one on the back side. I don't think it's necessary to put one in the middle. Um, I may put one in the middle. Actually, I, I, I'm pretty sure I will put one in the middle uh, now that I think about it. I'll put one right here because that's a pretty long span for them boards to flex. And if you get weight in there that gets up against it, it's going to push the boards out. So, yeah, we're probably going to put one right there. But this one's going to be a short one. Maybe. So, these might work for this spot. But, yeah, actually these will work for that spot. Because we can just put it right there just like that. Because remember, we're going to have one inch boards on the top here. So... The reason I want to wait until the boards are on is so that I can make this level with the floor. So that way, when I put this on there, then boards are going to set right down on top of this, the platform boards. So we're probably going to have two boards high. So it'd be 12 inches tall. And... And then the boards on the platform so we're going to need at least one two two boards probably eight foot long that'll get us the whole side so we're going to need three boards all together because I'm going to do a tailgate also. I don't know if I'm going to do metal. I may do a metal tailgate so I wouldn't have to get no boards and the metal is free because I have it. Uh, so I believe metal would probably be my best bet for a tailgate and it's going to hinge up just like a regular truck and uh, it's going to be hooked with a chain like the old 66 Fords and uh, it's going to be a nice trailer man and if I decide to sell this trailer I'll be able to get what I want out of it uh, and if I don't then that means I'm dealing with some bastards <laughs> That just don't care about nobody else. Anyway, uh, we still got to do something about the jack, and I'm I'm de still debating on how I want to do this. I would like to have I'd like to have this jack over here. I don't really need this jack on this trailer. Because my truck is high enough that you know it's it's gonna be cool. However, I do want the wheel to be on this trailer, so I can take this wheel and put it underneath that jack and put that jack on here and then take this jack and put it over on the the other trailer that way it'll fold up out of the way we'll see we don't know yet I hope this uh, was informative and helpful and, and entertaining <laughs> don't forget to like share comment subscribe let me know what you think. You guys have a good one. Later.